This is something that... With school closed and people stuck at home, Bay City STEM teacher Misty Partica simply could have taken an extended break, but she says that wasn't going to work for her. I wanted to have something that was productive and where I could still feel like I was helpful. And I thought, you know what, I have three 3D printers sitting in my classroom that are doing nothing. <laughs> and I have the skills to be able to do this. Those skills are the ability to create these, face shields and mask extenders. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, designed to give frontline workers a sense of safety and comfort when treating COVID-19 patients. And I have been using them to make these, which are the little headbands, and then you attach shields. So far, Partica says she's been able to make around 80 mask extenders and 130 face shields. And she's not just making the equipment, but also delivering them to hospitals, assisted living, and food service providers. But the cost to run these machines and gather the materials is a lot, which is why her husband set up a GoFundMe account to help with the expenses. However, Partica says they're going to keep making these for as long as they can. The terrible things that are happening in the world right now, and this is just something that kind of keeps my mind occupied and keeps me busy and gives me a sense of purpose when I otherwise would have not been doing very much. In Bay City, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM-TV5.